Hi, and welcome to our motorcycle tire guide. In this segment, we're looking at how to choose the size, the speed, the load, and the construction of tire for your bike. So basically what specifications you're looking for, we're gonna tell you how to decide that right here. The answer to this question is really, really simple. Basically, follow your owner's manual. When you bought the bike, you should have got an owner's manual. If you didn't, it'll be available online somewhere. And in that, it's gonna tell you what construction of tire, what size of tire, what speed rating, what load capacity you need. And you should really follow those recommendations. You paid a lot for that clever engineering that went into your bike. And if you're not putting the same tire that the manufacturer specifies on there, you're really not getting the most out of it. So you might as well follow their recommendations. Now, obviously we would never presume to tell you what you should do with your bike. It's your motorcycle and you can put on there as you please. But with that, we are gonna give you uh, just a few cautions if you're gonna deviate from the manufacturer's guidelines. So first off with size, the thing to note with size is that a lot of people will look at their bike and they'll think, well, you know, I could put a wider tire on there. That would look really cool. I got a lot of space between the forks. I can probably get away with it. The thing you need to note with this is that whatever tire you can fit on your bike in the garage might not fit out on the road. And that's because as the tire is rotating, as it's leaning into corners, as it's taking weight, it's gonna be changing shape quite a bit. So just because the tire fits on your bike in the garage, when you get out there on the road and start leaning, it could start contacting the fork, contacting the fender, and that's obviously gonna cause some problems for you. After this, speed and load capacity. Uh, again, we recommend that you follow the manufacturer's guidelines, but if you aren't, we just recommend going a few steps above. So if you uh, have a speed rating recommended for you and you wanna get one up or two up from there, really that's not gonna be a problem. Same with load capacity. If you wanna do one or two better than the manufacturer recommends, again, that's not gonna be a problem. It's not gonna kill anybody. Probably what you will notice is that you'll probably sacrifice a bit of riding comfort where you didn't have to. You may add a little bit of extra rolling resistance that's really unnecessary, but again, those aren't big deals. The thing to note is that you can't go below what the manufacturer recommends. So if they say, uh, state a speed rating and you buy a tire that has less speed rating than that, that's not a good idea. It's potentially dangerous. Of course, the same goes for load capacity. After this, we're going to talk about construction. So as we mentioned earlier, you got your radial tires, your bias ply tires, your bias belted tires. These are all construction types. And if you deviate from what the manufacturer recommends you to put on your bike, you're going to notice a couple things are going to be changing. Mainly the handling of the bike is going to change. It's going to become a bit unwieldy. It might become a bit softer, a little bit tighter in the turns. That's going to feel weird because the motorcycle really wasn't meant to be used with a tire like that. You may also note things like the way your tire heats up and dissipates heat may change if you deviate uh, from what the manufacturer recommends for the construction of your tire. Now, getting an unwieldy dynamic on your motorcycle uh, with the tires is especially common if you decide to mate tires. That is putting a bias on the front and a radial on the rear or some Pirelli on the front, and some Michelin on the rear or something like that. That's gonna cause things to go a little bit unwieldy, uh, just a little bit awkward to drive for the same reason as it would be if you wore two different shoes and walked around for the whole day. You know, you probably become a bit misaligned, your back would feel a little bit whacked out. And that's just because, you know, you're on unequal footing. The same goes for your motorcycle. If it's on unequal footing, it may not behave exactly as it's supposed to. Now, of course, the grand exception of this is that some manufacturers will spec mated tires right out of the factory. They will have some bias on the front and some radial on the rear. And of course, if the manufacturer recommends that, that is what you should do. You should follow their guidelines with confidence. Go ahead and mate those tires. It's not a problem for you if the manufacturer does recommend that. The bottom line on this, guys, is that you should follow what your manual recommends. And if you're not going to, just be aware of these cautions that we've mentioned and take it easy on the first few rides because you're not really sure how any specific tire is gonna react on your specific bike. If you have any questions, be sure to call our customer service team. They're really great at keeping track of this stuff. They keep all these owner ma owner's manuals that we've probably long thrown away at this point. So it'll be really helpful to you there in these things. We have a lot more coming up next in this guide, so feel free to keep watching, to keep reading. But for this part, thank you very much for watching.